welcome. This is the energy vibration reading for the Virgo Sun Moon and Rising Sign. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back. Um, thank you for your supports, likes, and shares. Please remember to listen to the uh, general readings. And this is the month of June 2017. And the energy of June is going to be fantastic for you, Virgos. There is a lot of balancing. There's a lot of justice balancing. So if you're having um, a legal a situation in the legal system, justice is going to prevail. This is good, or whatever conflicts you have, whatever misunderstanding you have with people, there is going to be an end um, to the negative things that has been happening. There's going to be an end to all um, the negative thoughts that people have, and the jealousy, and that sort of thing. An end is coming. What is so wonderful about your month is that the month is the energy vibration of fire, and this energy vibration of fire the chariot. The chariot do comes in another time. The chariot comes with the energy of justice in the middle of the month. So all the people who are having legal situation or have been having legal situation or um, misunderstanding that is going to come to an end finally. It's going to come to an end. So the Virgos are going to vibrate with the high energy vibration at the end of this month. There's a lot of jealousy and stuff that has been happening because obviously you have uh, won something. You have uh, stand up to equality and injustice and you have overcome this. For your focus, you have the energy vibration of justice. This is weird because your energy vibration is the number eight and the number eight in this card deck comes up with the energy of justice. So this is good. So the energy vibration is going to be wonderful because it's twice that justice comes up for you guys in a month. So that means if some people did not get it one time, they're going to get it. So the focus of justice, the imbalances of uh, the earth situation and things that has been happening in your life uh, and that was injustice is going to come. And there's going to be a balance. So victory and success with justice, that means uh, for all the people who are having legal situation and that sort of thing, it's going to come to an end in this month. And congratulations, this is just so wonderful. Um, I've changed up the way I do the readings. At the end of the reading, uh, well, at the end of the weeks, as I go to the last and final week, because this month has five weeks, we're starting the month with the zodiac energy vibration of the hair, and we're ending it with the energy vibration of water. So this is very important for you for everyone to understand and you work with but what I've extended and put in this reading is the message for the sun, moon, and rising sign of the Virgos. Okay, so after this message, there's no break. I just move in that. And what I've changed is that every week you are going to have a number for the energy vibration for that week. Some weeks comes up with two energy vibrations, some weeks comes up with one energy vibration. But we're all going to work with that, okay? In the first week, what do we have? We have the energy of the hurt element, so this is one of your best week, the first week, and you have a situation with the king of wands. The king of wands. You have a situation with the king of wands. What is this king of wands here doing? Um, the king of wands, it was uh, for some people who are married to someone of a fire sign, there is going to be a connection um, and this connection is going to be a positive connection um, for some people who it can be the energy vibration of the Queen of Wands. Okay, so if you're a man, you will connect with Queen of Wands, which is fire energy vibration. And um, this is this can bring you um, something of good balance, good situation coming in your mind, but. Um, it's a fire energy, so it, they're, they're mostly good for business, um, for being uh, friends or that sort of a thing, but not for marriage or partnership. There is a, 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 an effort that some people will be connected with them as contracts. Some people will be connecting with them in a good form and a good sense of, uh, um, you know, business connection, that sort of a thing. So it's going to be... A wonderful um, there is a, 
and the Energy Poor Connection of new contracts uh, that is going to be signed with this scheme of funds. Okay. As I said, um, um, the connection is going to be good. It's going to help you. Whatever the situation is, it's going to help you, and this is going to be fantastic. As we look at this energy vibration, we have uh, um, the number energy for you guys, and if there anything else is coming in. Um, for some people, it's going to be new work, and this is going to be your boss, so it's going to be um, uh, work, work. Some people who are looking for work, you're going to sign a contract. And uh, the first is going to be your boss, who is the king of wands. Um, seven and one eight. So you guys got eight also for the first week. So whatsoever is happening, you have the number eight energy for the first week. As we look, move on and we look at the energy vibration for the second week, which is a fire week, we have the energy of the seven of pentacles, the seven of pentacles and the energy vibration of the seven of pentacles um, is that if your financial um, situation is blocked, um, the blockage is going to be removed. So if you are having financial problems and that sort of thing and the money wasn't flowing to you, that is being removed and this energy of financial abundance is going to flow um, to you in such a wonderful way ways and this is going to be extremely good so you know you are going to find the key of how to clear and de-block here your financial situation which is extremely good and for some people it's going to happen out of magic and for some people in the second week with the Sapphire week it's a week of cleansing and the universal angels let's so say I'm calling up the universal angels my guided angels to remove um, the, the, the financial, the blockage that is by my financial situation. So, ask them to lift the blockage from your financial situation. So, for the people who are feeling that some will happen just like magic, because it's just going to come in like magic, and because you have the energy of justice uh, balancing your earth, the earthly aspect, it's just going to come in like magic. You're just going to know how you can um, block that situation because people without you knowing it can block your financial flow and this is what has been happening has happened to certain people and I'm telling you this is why I'm asking people to stop um, block other people progress you have no right to block other people progress because people do do these things and you know this is what has happened do not do this for another person because it's karma you're an outside person, it will happen to you, but this is going to clear up in the second week. We have six and seven, um, that is 13 and 13 and one. So there's some achievement coming in because of the energy is being blocked and removed and healed. There is wonderful new energies coming in. As we move forward and as I said, your number is going to be a four in this week. Um, for some people, you can call upon the number 33 energy vibration if you vibrate on the number 33 energy vibration, which turns out to be a sixth energy of the numbers. This is going to connect you to inner wisdom and it's going to guide you on a better part in your life. As we look at the third week, we have the energy of the chariot. And the energy of the chariot is bringing for new vibrational energies. There is a huge victory for you, Virgos, a wonderful, huge victory that is coming in. The victory is going to be the end of a certain aspect, a certain blocks that were placed. So it's the end, these victories are going to bring in the end of situation that was blocked for you, the end of a um, situation that has been um, keeping you um, you know, without moving on, you're going to be victorious and triumphant, come over it. And this is the second you have the energy vibration of two chariots. So this is a lot of victory and success for you guys. You're going to elevate and move yourself and elevate yourself from a certain aspect. And you're going to overwhelm all 
that has been happening to you. Okay? And the energy that we have is 9 and 7 and 16. So some people, it's going to have the energy vibration of um, uh, the energy of the chariot. So, um, I'm moving you, but yet still. Um, and this is victory. It's a, it's a huge victory for you, for, um, Virgos, in this month. A huge victory. And you are going to find that and see that in the third week of June, in this victory that is coming in to support you. So some people have the energy of the tower, which is cleansing, and some people have the energy of the transformation, you are moving away from a negative situation. It is the end of a negative situation that was happening in your life. As we look forward, we're looking at the fourth week. The fourth week, there is a lot of talking, and it is better that you take a rest. It is time to take rest in the fourth week. The energy vibration of you taking a rest in the fourth week is very important. As you take rest and you connect with your inner guides, you bring out the inner wisdom within you, okay? So take some rest, no matter what's happening in the fourth week, just go to your work, just take rest. Um, there's a lot of talking that is happening. There's a lot of eating. There's a lot of people who are being jealous at you. There's a lot of um, that jealous um, situation, but that jealous situation, and, uh, you know, the, the negative thing, because it was as if you were, you know, the, the talk of the town. It was as if you, there's so many people hating on you because you have accomplished something for your life and you have accomplished something good. And it is shown here, and you need to take a rest. Whatever is happening before to me, it is time to go inwards, it's time to meditate, it is time to connect. Please remember to listen to the general readings and your sun, moon, and rising sun because there will be more um, information coming out for the fourth week, okay? As we move on, so what we have, we have three and four is seven, so we have another seven coming up in this week, another seven coming up in this week, so this is grand, this is wonderful, another seven is a um, victory and success, triumphant, but yet still moving, you're on the right part, you're going with the flow of life. As, as we move on, keep on forgetting my headset. As we move on, um, we have uh, the energy vibration. As we move on, we have the energy vibration in the fifth week. So again, for the fourth week, it's going to be um, a resting week. Please, uh, it's the number seven energy, and it's going to be a rest in a week. As we go forward and we look at the fifth week, we have uh, the energy vibration in the fifth week. We have the energy vibration in the fifth week of uh, the magician. This is a wonderful energy to have in the fifth week. The energy of the magician. Isn't this wonderful? The energy of the magician is here. The magician comes to help you in the fourth week. And the magician is bringing wonderful. Because uh, the, the, the aspect of the magician is, so it is the wheel of fortune and the chariot that work with all four elements and work with each and every person. The energy of the magician that is coming in. For some people, you'll realize that negative energy is coming at you. But don't worry about that because it's going to break. All you have to do is ask your angels and guides to protect you from the negative energies that has been sent to you and return the person with positive energy. So there is a situation that is happening. There's a situation that's going on. People seem to be vibrating on lower energy vibration. They're sending you lower energies because the week before you know there was a talk and that sort of a thing but a magician asks the magician and the universal angels archangel ragiel and the angels and guides to remove whatever negativity and the jealousy because this is all about jealousy the the wheel of fortune is bringing the magician in to help you to bring magic in your life and there is going to be a lot of jealousy coming in so be aware 
we have seven and one is eight so it is good the the the, the, the week begins with eight and it ends with eight so you have eight um, you have six you have you know the, the eight you begin so infinity abundancy is as if the the universe is showing you your best week is going to be the first week and the last week for you Virgos the the first week and the last week the first second the weeks are so good but the most significant the first third and the fifth week even though there's jealousy in the fifth week especially for the women the women Virgos are going to have a huge significance of jealousy coming at you jealousy coming at you and for um, the men be aware of there's a woman in your life that is very jealous this relationship is not going to be a consistency is there love in this week not really there's is this month there is not much of a loving energy what you're working on is yourself to achieve certain aspect for the people who did exam there's a lot of victory and success there's a lot of winning there's a lot of passing your exam um there is there is people talking but they can't the talk is all about what you have accomplished you know so be aware of that yes sorry be aware of that so love there is there is more contracts in the beginning of the month there's going to be contracts signing of contracts at the beginning of the month which is just so wonderful okay um signing of contracts uh, in the beginning of the month so a lot of you people are going to be changing jobs or connecting with certain aspect for the women there is a lot of jealousy coming to you women so be aware okay um we are changing up the guards and uh, let's see what message and what influence have uh, the sun moon and rising sign the sun rising for the virgos what energies uh, you have to deal with a scorpion you have to deal with the scorpion people so for um the gemini's sun rising sign people you have to deal with uh, um the scorpions the scorpions whatever situation is there now for you sun rising people you're dealing with a lot of scorpion people there is situation that has to be uh, be healed for um uh, you with scorpion people and let's see um for you gemini people what planet is going to affect you or what god is going to affect you and that is going to be i can't even see it <laughs> Neptune, Neptunus, Goddess Neptunus is going to work with you. So this is this is this is very good because uh, it's working on the the unconsciousness, the water sign. So with Scorpio and uh, this energy coming in, it's going to be a wonderful energy for the sun rising people. So the Scorpions are working with the energy of Neptune, and um, it is uh, good. So you sun um, sun rising Virgos, you'll be working with. Uh, and the Scorpio that you mentioned and the planetary body or the God Neptunus. Okay. Okay. As we look at uh, the moon rising people, who will affect you in this month of June um, is going to be the moon rising sign it's going to be the fish the Pisces people so a lot of people are going to have a connection with water the Pisces this is actually a good sign to be a marriage partner for you Virgo so this is this is good so you will have connection um, this is for just the um, Virgo moon rising people so you will have an effect uh, the Pisces people will have an effect on you and let's see what planetary aspects is coming in we are what God 
gods is coming in to work with you Pluto Pluto the planet of Pluto so I am finding this to be extremely interested for you moon rising people because the, the planet Pluto is coming in alignment with the Pisces people to work out whatever um, situation that has been happening so this is extremely good so be aware of this uh, for the moon rising people that you have to deal with Pisces so you Virgos are dealing with the energy of water the whole entire month be aware and the last energy from the vortex that I have for you guys which is the energy vibration of the vortex um, we have uh, the energy of uh, I intend to co-create uh, from my place of positive attraction and this is good this is extremely extremely good I intend to create from my uh, my place of positive attraction and this is wonderful the individual creator who are coming in together must be in a place of positive attraction before they come to gather or nothing positive can come out of uh, any co-creation if you are an individual that focus only on feeling good you can um, all but certain sort of aspect that is why looking for um, a mate from a place of misconstruction or a lack of anything can never bring you uh, the um, the mate you really want so be positive as you're looking for a mate be positive conscious of what you're attracting in your life and if you're positive and conscious about what you're attracting in your life it will be very good and I want to say to each and every person if you'd like to connect with me connect with me via my website via clarity and this month is going to be a wonderful month um, there's a lot of jealousy around you be aware there's a lot of talking jealousy around you um, be aware of what is happening but yet still connect stand strong be positive and I'll say namaste until next month